Welcome to Cambridge Inside Out. I'm Robert Winters. Judy Nathans. And, and it's the first day of October. We've made it to October. Right. And for those of you, not that anybody watching this program would have the slightest interest in Cambridge elections. <laughs> ha ha. Yeah. Coming uh, up, what, we have five, five weeks? weeks? Oh, five boy. weeks to go. Well, that's right, it's a Tuesday, is the election, 30, November? 35 little days. November 5th or 6th? What November 5th. Is it a 5th? Right, unless you're a candidate who I dislike, in which case, everybody, don't forget to vote November 6th. No, <laughs> it's November 5th, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> I've mean, actually seen people do that, actually, yeah. and you send out a postcard, don't forget to yeah. vote, and they give right. you the, the date after the election. So. Uh -huh. And we're here, even though there wasn't a city council meeting, because there's actually lots to talk about. Definitely Not lots just to talk city about, politics, so. but we are going to look at that, because it's sort of interesting. It's sort of interesting. It's a nice um, breather after the national politics, right? Let's just go into our own backyard, <laughs> right? <laughs> True. Yeah. We're not impeaching anyone, right? Right, we're unimpeachable. Unimpeachable. Yeah, okay, that's it, right? Um, so, but, yep. so I think one thing we actually did chat about a bit last week was the fact that there were some there was some word starting to leak out about uh, endorsements from some of these either I don't existing know, existing groups, and yeah. emerging uh, political and so, entities. Yeah. You know, even that is kind of a curious thing because. You know, somebody was actually asking me, um, you know, what is the requirements in terms of uh, if you want to actually raise and spend money? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm not the expert, believe it or not, no. I'm not the expert in this. But I know a fair amount about it. But, you know, I did point out that, and again, if somebody has better information, please let me know. But they're in, from 1945 until the early 1990, uh, actually early 2000s, the Cambridge Civic Association endorse candidates every in every municipal election mm -hmm. they money was raised money was spent as a, a like as a slate as a group yes they always they used, were a non-profit it was well they, weren't so, a pack, they didn't have PACs then did well, they? well no but the thing is is that there were actually oh. disclosure requirements going back a long long way but mm -hmm. things got kind of formalized as you headed in more toward the late 90s early 2000s mm -hmm. and with every passing year it seems like the the reporting requirements and right. mechanisms yeah. especially in the fact that you can file online all the you know True. There, yeah I think only cities that have population in excess of 100,000 are, are, is it that city council candidates are required to have depository oh, bank accounts so that oh, there's, there's interesting. twice a month reporting. Oh. So you know, for, for weasels like me, it's kind of easy to find out what's going on. Yeah. You, know? you just, just go, well, go on the internets. And, woo, and what is that a, under? Is that under an office, office of campaign something? and political finance? Wow. You know, mm. and it's pretty easy to navigate. And actually, they've improved the tool really well. So it's Honestly, it's just makes so my job easy. So you can see any city in the Commonwealth, well, right? Well, uh, yeah. It fits that criteria. Any candidate, uh, yeah. Any, any, and actually, some of the political action committees also are required to have deposit. Well, that makes accounts. sense because so, they're raising money, and yeah, it's a political yeah. and I think, action committee. Yeah. Yeah, I think the only candidates who are not required to are people who choose who choose to uh, raise no money and spend no money on their campaigns. Hmm. Typically, these are issue candidates, but it's also just people who just are acting out, let's face it. Hmm. Right? There are a few of them. Yeah, you and they always still are. List. Always yeah. are. Um, so anyway, it's, it's, um, so we do have, uh, so the Cambridge Civic Association for, you know, 60 years basically existed as an informal association. They were registered, they were not registered with the state, they were never incorporated. Um, they were never a 501c3 or a 501c4 or any mm -hmm. 501c anything, as far yeah. as I can tell. Mm. Um, how, I, how I found out about this is an interesting story for another day, perhaps, right. uh, having to do with a practical joke. But, oh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the, um, uh, but the thing is, what they would do is, if I remember this correctly, is that when it came, when it, on the months leading up to the municipal election, their executive director who was paid for out of the organization would basically switch hats mm. and become the director of the campaign, right? Mm. And then they were, I think they meant any money that was donated uh, to the Cambridge Civic Association was not available to the campaign, Which but, makes you, sense. but you could write checks to the, you know, I don't know, the Cambridge, the yeah. CCA election committee or something like okay, that. So, so they did keep it separate. They, I think you just had to keep it separate, <laughs> but it's not like you had to, the filing requirements were pretty minimal. You just had Back to basically then, yeah. show the books if somebody asked, I mm -hmm. guess. So now uh, you've got organizations like this a group that calls itself the Better Cambridge, mm -hmm. which um, started as a, uh, you know, 
yes in my backyard kind of group as a non well actually no abc started out as a group promoting higher density and transit-oriented transit -oriented oriented. development and this was in the election right. previously or even before right. that but it but it you know it, you know no but when did it start was it 2013 uh, at least or 15? four years ago so 15 elections? Two, at least two election cycles okay. it could even be another but yeah. um but the thing is is you know they were kind of ramping up and i think because of the disclosure requirements that exist today mm -hmm. um they didn't you know yes they were promoting a slate of candidates but mm -hmm. they kind of finessed it you know, mm -hmm. they sort of say, well, we did a ranking system and these are the ones who were ranked most highly. Mm -hmm. In other words, these are the ones we're telling you to vote for. Yeah. Right. Uh, and, you know, and, and they photographed themselves together. Actually, I think was it Leland Chung organized something called the Unity Slate, which was effectively the same thing um, some years ago. Um, but the thing is, is uh, I think ABC raised issues with the Cambridge Residence Alliance. Mm. Actually, not just ABC. I think Craig Kelly did, too, about dark money in politics. For, uh, that ABC was? Well, I think it was Residence Alliance. If you are 501c4 and mm -hmm. you raise money, you don't have to disclose things oh, okay. uh, so Certain. thoroughly. Okay. So the question was, well, who's, where's the money coming from? And then, of course, there's all sorts of suspicious theories coming up mm -hmm. about that. So. Anyway, so, um, you know, I, maybe to deflect potential future criticism, ABC formed its separate entity, which was called a Better Cambridge Action Fund. Which is like a PAC. Which is a, a PAC. It's is listed, a PAC, right. filed least, with the okay. state as a political action committee. Are they the only one that actually is a PAC? Out of all no, group? no. Oh, so, okay. so, so then they started raising money, mm -hmm. rather substantial amount of money, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they're kind of finessing it in the sense that they're saying that, oh, no, 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 it's not a better Cambridge that's endorsing these candidates, these nine candidates. Yeah. Yeah. It's the action fund. But come yeah. on, it's seriously the, it's well, the organization. Well, okay, but so. No, it's, right. it, no it know, meets the minimal know, legal requirements. I guess yeah, that's all I'm, I'm not, It's open. I mean, you see what they're about, and these are the candidates. I, I, I don't find well, that at so all. Well, so the thing is, is now um, the Cambridge Residence Alliance, which is sort of the flip side, you know, I don't even know but more why. more grassrootsy. Um, I mean, I don't know. I just associate with different people that you know would, just live here. They don't necessarily work for these develop. You know, they don't. My my feeling is that I don't know. no. I mean, I'll, I'll say it as a yeah. person who who was often outspoken against the residence yeah. lines. I'd have to say that by and large, most of the people affiliated with them are, are very well rooted mm -hmm. in, in Cambridge over many yeah. years, whether right. I agree with them or not. Which gives um, them a sort of gravitas right. that allows them. So they them. are, on average, mm -hmm. a bit older. Yes. And uh, they have, um, you know, they've sort of been through a lot of different issues over the years. Yeah. The, you know, the, whereas I have to say, your typical ABC person is sort of a millennial mm. person, uh, maybe somebody who's um, concerned about wanting to be able to buy or rent affordably mm. in Cambridge. There are some older but people, typically Democratic professional. activists, that are in there. I mean, the... Uh, some. Yeah. Cara, Cara, uh, forget they live on Norfolk Street. They're pretty. Right. So, uh, well, there's Lee. Uh, Not Lee. No, no, no. She's with Residence Line. Uh, anyway, anyway. Name. So the thing is, is that I did notice some months ago that the Jonathan King, who's one of the founders of the Cambridge Residence Alliance, filed the paperwork to create something called Democracy for Cambridge or something like that, hmm. uh, political action committee, and it's right explicitly says in the filing this is being oh. done basically to promote candidates and a slate of candidates in conjunction with the Cambridge Residence Alliance. Okay, but they're not in here yet. Um, no, they're not in there. Well, they, they are, they're oh. definitely, I'm tracking them with the, okay. uh, but the thing is they haven't raised much money. They raised a hundred bucks. Oh, okay. That's it. Whereas, you know, the ABC group has raised many thousands of dollars mm. and they're spending thousands of dollars mm. currently and well, will spend a lot of money. But they're uh, more right established, now. have been, yeah. Well, the Residence and Alliance... reach out beyond just the neighborhood. Residence yeah. Alliance predates them. Um, they, will, they will loudly deny this, but the A Better Cambridge group was created in, in response to the Residence Alliance. You and know, the Fresh and they, Pond so, Alliance. I mean, the well, Residence Alliance was formed what, later. Out, after it, the Fresh sort of, right. a, you know, I would argue it's kind of like a spin-off of the... Yeah. Well, yeah, Jan you know, Devereaux she, was the candidate. In right. The, yeah. So she formed, she and a few mm -hmm. others formed the Fresh, Fresh Pond, Pond Residence Alliance. Residence Alliance. And then, you know, within one election cycle, she was then a candidate and was mm -hmm. elected. So, mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there have been these kind of these camps, I mm -hmm. think it's fair to say. Um, but, you know, there are these other groups, too. Like, there's the Sanders people mm -hmm. from Our Revolution, formed their little chapter, Our Revolution Because that's Cambridge. a national group, right? Right. And, and honestly... Um, 
I'm sure I recognize, I'll, if I look hard, I'll recognize a person or two, but for the most part, I don't know any of those people. Mm -hmm. um, the only person I know who's affiliated with is this state representative, Connolly, uh, who's a Sanders, total Sanders, ac Sanders acolyte, mm -hmm. right? So, um, so many people believe, I believe, that our Revolution Cambridge is largely the political organization for Mike Connolly. Mm. Right. But on the other hand, Mike Connolly is also the tenant of Nancy Ryan, who's one of the founders of um, Cambridge Residence Alliance. Oh, so, he lives in that? Yes. In that yeah, it's I didn't tenant. know that. Yeah. So um, so it's interesting when the when these candidate endorsements came out. Now, I want to emphasize here that that, you know, I I think it's interesting to look at this. But voters, bottom line, decide for yourself. Why don't you show I mean, this? This is advice, you know. So, um, so here we go. So, so I think the first one I heard about was the A Better Cambridge group, right? So that was Burhan Azim, Alana Mallon, Mark McGovern, Risa Metnick, Adrian Musgrave, Sumbul Siddiqui, Denny Simmons, Jeevan, Sabrina Wheeler. Rhymes with Steven, Jeevan. Rhymes with Steven, <laughs> Tim Toomey, right? So that's yeah. nine of them, right? Mm -hmm. The word started leaking out uh, about um, somebody proudly saying they've been endorsed by Our Revolution Cambridge. I said, really? Hmm. Um, are you going to let us know who the others are? And then somebody did let us know who the others are. Oh, right. Are. I remember seeing that. Thing. Right. Yeah. So they're, they're uh, slate. So mm -hmm. there were nine with a better Cambridge. There are seven with the Revolution. And group. one is the same name there. Interesting. Um, right. So, the, but their names were Dennis Carlone, mm -hmm. who was an endorsed. Uh, well, okay. Well, Give it that mm -hmm. Charles Franklin, Patri Patty Nolan, mm -hmm. Ben Simon, uh, Jeevan, mm -hmm. Jason Jeevan, as in Stephen, right. Sabrina yeah. Wheeler, Nicola Williams, and Quentin Zonder. And notice right. that there's not a hell of a lot of intersection, but Jeevan, Sabrina Wheeler. There is some intersection is, there. Right? That, that's kind of a curiosity in yeah. itself, right? Yeah. yeah. Then a little bit later, which really for me was just maybe two, three days ago, I got wind of. Um, I think it was that when our Patty Nolan was with the Residence Alliance and Nicola Williams was with the Residence Alliance, mm -hmm. got their endorsement. Um, so they, I, you know, so th then there was a photograph I think I saw somewhere, and I said, "Hey, which slate is this?" I kind of thought mm -hmm. it was them. Yeah. So that was Dennis Carlone, uh, Charles Franklin, mm -hmm. Risa Metnick, Pat Patty Nolan, mm -hmm. uh, even Sabrina Wheeler, Nicola Williams, and Quentin Zonner. But notice that yeah, the Risa Revolution, Metnick. oh, yeah, you know. And Cambridge Residence Alliance, or as I like to call it, if Residence Alliance is Nancy's slate and our revolution is Mike Connolly's slate. They're her, very her similar, though, well, except for I mean, a couple one, of names. It's the landlady and the tenant, basically. Um, uh, so the only, well. And the only difference was that Ben Simon, who, as far as I can tell, is kind of left of Lenin, uh, yeah. shows up on the revolution. Yeah, but Risa Mednick is not on the R Revolution, but she is right. on a better Cambridge. But he so is she's on another one Cambridge. of these crossovers right. that is yeah. interesting. Jim and Sabrina Wheeler is and like he's right on all three. the boards. Right? Well, I would say the first R Revolution in Cambridge Residence Alliance right. was more alike than a better Cambridge. Right. So how do you explain the Risa Mednick then? Um, well, you know, maybe I, she's just reasonable. And she it's sort of open I to think things. She's, she's a reasonable <laughs> person, but yeah. the thing is, is that. One of the, and again, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound a little harsh, but I'm going to say right. it anyway. Say it. Is that, because I remember back in the days of the Cambridge Civic Association, mm -hmm. the thing is, is that they may have put up a slate of, like on the a ABC, of nine equals. Yeah. And, and we're not favoring any one over the other, they may say. But in, but in truth, um, these slates do serve the purpose of helping to reinsure the, sure. the re-election of some of their favored well, incumbents. Well, Dennis and if and, Jan was still running, she'd be in one of these right. lists. And if too. you could, yeah. uh, if you can pick up a seat, right. then certainly there are people in the list who are there for that reason. And then there are others who are, we used to call feeders. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know who's a feeder or who's yeah. a somebody there or is a hopeful here. But the thing is, is that I think some of the people that you see on multiple slates may be in mm -hmm. there because not necessarily because they're hoping and praying that they're going to get elected, but th though they might. But if they're not elected, I think 
each of these organizations would like to have those vote transferred to them and okay. their other candidates. So there's two things we should talk about here. This is was this made up after the Sullivan Courthouse? All right. Thing? So one, Sumbo would have been on at least the CRA. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. Last two years ago, Sumbo mm -hmm. Siddiqui, as a new candidate, mm -hmm. was endorsed by the revolutionaries. The when, mm -hmm. you know, if you remember when Bernie right. Sanders helicoptered into town to, right, ble exactly. to bless his children. Right. Right. Uh, and then the Residence Alliance, she was very much a sort mm -hmm. of a central figure there. So I actually asked mm -hmm. um, the residents, you know, somebody who was there or some, somewhat involved with, uh, or maybe mm -hmm. involved with one of the candidates who got the blessing of the mm -hmm. Residence Alliance, well, mm -hmm. why isn't Sumbul Siddiqui there? Mm -hmm. And they said flat out, the courthouse vote. Yeah. Just the well, courthouse vote. And now, okay. So we, and we so can talk really, about that a little bit more. And then Craig Kelly's not on anything. Well, this interestingly, okay. there are there are um, three candidates who, in mm. my opinion, are very substantial candidates mm. who are not on any of these lists yet. Now, well, I would agree with two of them. I don't now, know about the other they have thing. to say though that the Cambridge Citizens Coalition, which is an emergent this group, this is this one, which is doomed right, to which is which is basically trying to um, model itself after the original Cambridge Civic Association. They're trying to be more of the moderates, I think. I in the, think in the they're going to right? do that, but they do have a point of view on the overlay, yeah. right? But the thing is, so they they're having their candidate form, I believe, this uh, oh. Saturday or Sunday. Really? Uh, I thought yep. that. Okay. Yeah, and uh, up at uh, Leslie Washburn Auditorium. The Sunday night one? Is that? I them? think that's one. Yeah, it's in the afternoon, I, I think, but I'm not sure. Okay. I will take a look in a sec. But the yeah. thing is, is that I imagine they'll they'll will endorse some of some of the so other the ones candidates that are not, who are not on here. listed there, right? Um, but so, so anyway. Okay. Um, so let's just do. Sort of so reprove our okay. existence so here. you think uh, okay well I'm just curious so, that so I'm yeah I mean already there's a certain amount of, of blowback from yeah. this sort of dissing of Sumbul Siddiqui yeah oh a lot of right. blowback now yeah. you know now people don't yeah I mean, I mean, it was this article I, I don't support candidates who are for yeah. the overlay but the yeah. thing is is that I think she's a credible yeah stand up person and you know to kind of ditch Sumbul Siddiqui. Who's well, it was this article? Do you know? Have you followed this person? I know who oh. he is for a long okay. All right. time. All right, I never knew. I don't All pick right. this. All right, you can yeah. do the background right. there. <laughs> so, so the thing is, is that so there were people sort of siding, taking sides on this First Street Garage yeah. arrangement that would have provided the parking to facilitate moving ahead on the Sullivan Courthouse um, renovation. Five okay. o'clock, by the way, the sun right. Sunday. Okay. So it it came down to a a vote and the. You know, though I, the way I look at it, see, it took six votes. There were six votes. I don't weigh one over the other, but many people view Sumbul Siddiqui as the swing vote, because mm. I guess practically speaking, she was. Um, yes, Craig and Kelly's then been in as the soon as the vote took, happened, I think Jan Devereaux was take, took a few shots at her. You mm -hmm. know, like I love you very much, but yeah, you you blew it. Kind <laughs> of a, yeah. a blog post she put out. Mm. Uh, and then came out this this article here. Which so is that, is, oh, and he refers to so Jim. this is in yeah. uh, Boston. Dig Day, Boston, yeah. And Dig the Boston. author is a guy named Jason Primus, yeah. and I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Okay. But yeah. uh, you know, speak about left of Lenin. I yeah, mean, this yeah. guy's. He's had other. Yeah, he really this he guy hates everything off about the our government. And he's yeah. totally in tight with the revolution people, yeah. and basically. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you know, if you look, if you read the language in his article, it's all about, you know, the evil billionaires and down with the oh, capitalists. Oh, get rid of, get rid of Mark and all those people. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, all, yeah. Uh, they're, they're all, all a bunch of lackeys, lackeys yeah. of the Alana capitalists, etc., etc. Et who is this person? He's been around a good long well, while. I'm do a little research yeah. on him. So, um, so I know him, you know, and uh, I don't agree with him What's on his almost deal? anything. He's a radical leftist. And so consequently, and I think this was sort of the same deal with Mike Connolly. The thing is, if you're not sufficiently mm -hmm. radical left, leftist, then, you know, in other words, if you're willing to do a deal that would help any a large company or capitalists, you know, then you're evil. And so this but is going to come But he also doesn't down. like the plan. He, he kind of, he probably would love Alain Lee. You know, right? honestly, I this don't Alain think Lee. Jason Promise had yeah. any p opinion about Plan E. No, he just uh, wants In the past, if anything, I'll bet you he loved it. Well, it's just that succeed, right, they may first need to run the major campaign required to change the city from a planning government to something else. What? Yeah, wow, see, the something else is, is always entertaining for me. Yeah, so, right. so what, what are you going to do, elect else? a strong mayor form of government? In which case, yeah. 
unlike the way we do it. If you have a strong mayor who agrees with you, then you're yeah. thrilled. And if it's a strong mayor who disagrees yeah. with you, you're horrified. Right. You're going to have a... Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think a strong mayor system is a terrible system yeah. for a city of this scale. And, uh, um, you know, but the thing is, it's, these are opinions based on convenience, mm. honestly. And, you know, I have to say it, you know, you, this, if this is what passes for journalism, I mean, listen, I don't Well, call it's an my, opinion piece. It's, it's not, an opinion it, it, piece you know. by a person who absolutely considers himself and declares himself to be a journalist. Well, who reads Dick? I mean, Dick Boston does have some. It is sort of Dick Boston more to is, the uh, is left. Very, well, a no. little. Yeah, no. Little, yeah. no, I don't uh, know. I didn't no, know it was are, this much no, to the left. Other people affiliated with Dick Boston, except for a, very, a, a, a food writer who I happen to love to death. Okay. Right? Um, the, you know, they're you know, pretty much off the deep end. Are the they? Right. The spectrum, you know. Well, enough uh, people read them, though. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, so they basically, you know, decided to dump on Sambal Siddiqui, which yeah. I think was horribly unfair. And now, you know, it, who knows if it ends up hurting her? It may end up helping her because... Well, I was reading some of the Twitter feed, and she's getting all these donations. That's right. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, you listen, yeah. when, when a person is, is um, badly treated... Yeah. For all the wrong reasons. Denise Simmons, the slave will, amendment thing. I bet that's she's right. gotten. So there are people donations. who will run to yeah. their defense, you know. I mean, yeah. honestly, in a PR election, mm -hmm. I, I actually remember former Mayor Ken Reeves, uh, when it came time for mm -hmm. uh, election day rolling up, he would, he would, would <laughs> He would take any perceived slight oh, and turn it into a yeah. campaign like they're yeah. after me. You've yeah, got that's to interesting. And then people would rally around yeah, him, donate like Trump, money, what et he's cetera. Doing now. Yeah. yeah, so you know it's part of the game, but, oh. it, but, but I can assure you, neither Sumble Siddiqui nor Denise Simmons this. ever asked no, people to, to be unfair to them no. for a campaign, strategic no. campaign reasons. They no. just were because they're jerks. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, so anyway, I, I, uh, I, I hope this does no harm to Sambal Siddiqui because she didn't. Uh, I think it's only going to help yeah, her. Yeah. But it is kind of interesting watching kind of these sides taking shape, you know. And I could see there's going to be some upsets, though. And I hope it's not the upsets be. like there was in Somerville. You know, people. Because that scares me. There's always a know? lot of, well, it scares me, too, you know. Although um, they, they only vote one at a time. They don't do <laughs> PR, yeah. So maybe, yeah. I mean, actually, when I was kind of just sort of writing, yeah. jotting down notes for like things I yeah. might want to say, yeah. I actually wrote, what will the future council bring? Oh. And I wrote practical solutions or pointless revolution. Oh. You know, um, the, in revolution. Somerville, that's kind yeah. of what they got is that they, because they have ward systems, all it take was a few votes to sort of flip a few wards mm -hmm. and you ended up with some old timers. Maybe they was not dead wood, but you yeah, know, you there definitely was. But but you know, rather mm -hmm. than replace them with, you know, people who are well rooted in the areas, you basically they were trying to push the revolutionaries and mm -hmm. they, they got away with it, you know. And so I think Somerville has been putting all sorts of home rule petitions, legislation um, you know, tr you know, trying to like. Well, but their push mayor, though, is pretty. I mean, he now is gung ho on I, doing a safe injection site, even though the right. state is is probably going to challenge it. So I just read right. that on the news. So. But I don't know that that's a. That, I think that's just his inclination. Right, but is that, that? But are they because all for that? Because it's a strong that? mayor system. I don't know what their opinion about it that, is. To me, that's an interesting. But, you know, uh, topic. but if, if the Somerville uh, City now City Council, formerly Board of Aldermen, right. had their way, you know, they would be the tenant side right. Uh, right first refusal, right. they have rent control, they yeah. have all sorts of things. But I now, bet they you want may to like more all of those, but the yeah. thing is, is that it, they're very they're much They're going to fight for more agenda. pay because they already changed their name to counselors and, and they look right. to Cambridge all the time, even though we look to them, which is ridiculous right. because I think in they fact, make twice as much, right? right. In fact, and one, we have aides. One of the, what do you, the, one of the uh, Somerville City Councilors oh, is I, an aide to Cambridge City Council. Because Councilor he doesn't Dennis get paid I know, which that's I mean, a whole other story. Let's I not mean, go there. I don't know if it's paid enough or not, but the thing is, well, that's the way it is. No. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. I have a certain curiosity. Again, my sympathies for to candidates who are being unfairly treated. Yep. Um, but I, I also want to see, um, you know, what... Not the candidate endorsements are the be all end all, but mm. you know, Craig Kelly is to me one of the most level headed, substantial yep. city councilors you can't we pin have. Him down. You I can't don't agree with him, him all the time, but I do basically he's, like I respect he does his him. homework. And yep. he, he's his own person, he thinks he on his own. So the thing is is yep. that so he's not catering to any of yeah. these groups. He's so right he's been endorsed by none of them. <laughs> I know. Which to me strikes me as a point in his favor. Yeah. There are two other candidates who uh, I thought would get the blessing of, like, the Cambridge Residence Alliance. Um, for, for example, that was a new candidate, Derek Copon, 
who is who is as much of a he's like an environmentalist. He's a little extreme, though, isn't he? I don't think he's extreme really? at all. Okay, I, I have I not mean, been too impressed. He by supports the some things I don't heard. support, but okay. you know, he's a he's a strong proponent of like bike lanes, which I don't always agree with. But mm. the thing is, is he's a strong proponent. Um, he was definitely came out on the negative side on that overlay proposal. I don't so know why do you think he's? In. But he's not a socialist, so where would he fit? No, he's not. Well, I don't know if he is or isn't. But the thing is, is that so he'd be the CRA. But I thought that you know, based on um, you know, I thought John Pitkin and Derek Copan would hmm. would be, get their blessing without a doubt. Hmm. So I was a little curious why they wouldn't. Well, maybe they just wanted to keep it to nine. Uh, well, <laughs> the the a better came no that better Cambridge is at nine. But, but the wait, they had to answer questions. Wait, they had seven. to submit questions, so maybe they didn't fill out something. Well. You, know, you don't know that. Um, actually, do I believe that there was no process at all with the uh, residence alliance. Oh, really? You know, I suspect it was just three or four people around a kitchen table deciding. Oh, who see, I don't really was. know. I'm not going to say because I don't right. know. I know a lot of them had questions. Right, there, but, so there was, but there was no real process. All right, whatever. Um, so I, I actually thought they would, they hmm. would get the blessing. Now maybe some of these they candidates or all of them will get the blessing yeah. of this Eventually. emergent group, this Cambridge uh, Citizens Citizen, Coalition. That's a we'll good see. Point. You know, uh, but then again, is that group going to have clout or not? Yeah. Are they going to be able to yeah. generate money and spend it wisely? I don't know. Well, they are going to represent a lot of people that feel left out of these extremes. So who knows? Yeah. You yeah. know, but you know, one of the things that I find uh, particularly annoying, just like back in the uh, the days of um, Cambridge Civic Association from like 1970 on mm -hmm. or 69 on, uh, when um, rent control became the defining issue. Yeah. Basically. Um, if you didn't agree with their position on rent control, there was no way on earth you were going to get the blessing of the CCA. Well, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. And um, so they, they, they unfortunately became kind of a single issue organization. Yeah. So it depends, to their you have detriment. to see what happens with this one. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm looking at it now and, it, you know, if our Revolution Cambridge basically disses somebody because of a court, a single courthouse vote, mm. I'm sorry, that says bad things about the organization. Yeah. Um, and mm. I'll have to say the same thing on the on the residence lines, but I'm yeah. hopeful. I mean, I think some of their candidates are great, actually. So yeah. we'll see. Anyway, we'll take a break and back in See a few minutes a on minutes. Cambridge Inside Out.